guys welcome back to my channel so today I'll be talking about my oh I don't even know what to even call this because it it was kind of like unexpected like this whole thing I'm gonna like get into with you guys um, the past couple of videos I've been telling you guys that I will be going or I did um, to the city to work with um, a Broadway actor for an hour that was April 28th, um, yesterday from 5.30 to 6.30 in New York City at a place called Straight From New York. Um, or the studio itself is in this like gigantic building that just has tons and tons of like other things that you could go to and you know uh, rehearse and put on recitals and you know, dancing stuff, like there's 12 floors and where Straight From New York is, it's on the penthouse floor, which is the very top floor of the building and you can go and, you know, have rehearsals and coachings and master classes and all really cool stuff. So I was, you know, given the just unforgettable opportunity to work with Wesley Taylor. If you don't know who he is, I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys before I get into my day yesterday, which I can't even describe to you the feeling and just the happiness that I endured yesterday with him. Um, currently, he's in SpongeBob SquarePants playing Plankton or Sheldon. Um, Sheldon J. Plankton and for him to take the time out of his busy Broadway schedule to come and work with me someone he doesn't know doesn't know if I'm good or not and you know take that risk and come and help me was just first of all the first thing that totally kind of just made me so so appreciative and just so happy so I'm going to basically just run down the day for you guys yesterday. So, yesterday was Saturday, April 28th. And, um, like I said, my lesson was at 5.30pm to 6.30pm. And we got on the train, I would say, probably around 12.33ish. So we took a later train because we didn't need to go to the city and, you know just walk around without chickens with heads because it's not like we have tickets to a show that we could like kill time um, and we didn't you know have anything else to do besides me going to see Wesley so it was my mom and my sister and we went and we walked around Times Square for a few hours we went into Forever 21, we went into the Disney store, we went into McDonald's because I wanted to get a drink we went into Dunkin Donuts for my sister to get a drink. Um, we went to the Hershey store, the new location, which I think is so much better than the other location that they had by the M&M store because um, it's a lot bigger and it's just one floor, but it's a lot bigger and they have like more stuff and and it's not as congested, um, which I thought was nice. And we got free Hershey, like you know the mini ones, like the mini. Um, bite size um, and so we did that for a while and then we just like stood around <laughs> by the Spongebob theater because we thought well hey we're here they had a two o'clock show so we thought oh well maybe we could see you know the guy who plays Squidward which is Gavin Lee or Ethan Slater because or he plays Spongebob or Danny Skinner because he plays Patrick <clears throat> and we knew that Wesley doesn't come out after the 2 o'clock show because he probably wants to rest, he probably wants to go get lunch, he probably just m m maybe wants to shower, I don't know. Um, so we thought, well, maybe we'll get to see other people. So I took tons of pictures, so I'll put on the screen the pictures I took outside the theater. And um, we stood out there for a good hour and a half thinking that maybe we could see some people coming, you know, out after the two o'clock was over. 
But unfortunately we saw nobody because the security guard told us that no one comes out after, after the 2 o'clock show. Which is understandable because they have two shows on the weekends and they want to have time for themselves. And then they come out at the night show. Which is understandable. Um, so at that point it was <clears throat> already close to 5. It was like 4.45ish. So it, it took us like 15 minutes where we were in Times Square to walk to um, Shelter Studios, which is the place that's in the penthouse. And so we got there, and we were early. It was like not even 5 o'clock yet. And um, I just remember kind of sitting, <laughs> you know, and... Um, just seeing all these other people come in and you know rehearsing and having other you know um, coachings and master classes probably in rehearsals and it was probably 5 510 and I'm talking to so I'm sitting like this and my mom and my sister are over on my right side and she goes oh my god he's coming which is aka was like Taylor and I looked and I was in shock. Like I, like you guys, I knew he was hot, but boy, in person, oh my God. I, and just to think an hour with Wesley Taylor is, that was, could not wrap my head around that for sure. So he came up to us and said, Oh, are you Brianna? Because I guess he thought, well, it's me. It wouldn't be my sister. My sister's 11, and it wouldn't be my mother. I was like, yeah. It's, so I, I shook his hand. I was like, yeah, how are you, blah, blah. He goes, well, we have 20 minutes, so I'm going to go find a place to eat my lunch, and then we'll get in the room. So we sat outside for those 20 minutes, and he was eating. He was in another room, and he was eating his lunch. And then it was 5.30. We're like right on the dot, 5.30. And we, we went to the room and my mom and my sister left and then they they came back afterwards to come and get me, whatever. I mean, it, if there's one thing that, you know, I could say about yesterday is that it was so unbelievable and unforgettable and he was the sweetest I first of all when I'm always up in that studio I feel at home I feel like I belong here and with him being unbelievably kind and sweet it made it better and I'm li I, I literally have absolutely no words. I mean, we went over, people were saying we're in love, and then we went over somewhere. And we went over uh, character, you know, how to act in a song, a monologue. Um, we went over, you know, uh, acting through the song, making it come through you. And everything that he said, I'm taking that and using it to my advantage. And not one negative thing that he said to me all he ever said was you sound so pretty your voice is so pretty you're so good um and i'm taking that because that is just so sweet to say i i literally can't even tell you the amount of gratefulness i felt in that room with him and you know really taking the time to listen to me and helping me and just to giving me so much advice and you know it, it was just insane <laughs> um i literally i i I just want to thank him to just the absolute fullest and I I can't it's <laughs> oh my god it was just incredible and I wish it never ended and uh, I did get a picture with him though so I'll leave that at the end of the, of the video 
And then last night, we got home late. It was, so I was in bed for a while and I put on Instagram this really, really nice thing for him. And uh, I don't know if he's gonna see that one, but he did see the one on Twitter. Um, last night was after like 10 o'clock and I put, thank you for being the most sweetest yes, uh, today. And I put a, a couple of, of, of um, microphones and a couple of music notes. And I didn't think he was gonna see it that quickly. So he saw it, he liked the tweet, and then he sent, and then he replied with a heart. I was just like, oh my God. I literally, I was like, oh my God, I can't with this right now. Like. Oh my god. So I'll definitely leave that um, in the video um, as well. But just I know Wesley, if you ever see this, just thank you so 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 much just for what you did yesterday, taking time out of your busy Broadway schedule to come with to meet me and you know help me and um, hopefully I get to see you again real soon either see you on Spongebob in the musical or maybe another lesson we'll never know so um, yeah but just thank you for just the amazing day yesterday and I um, I really appreciate it and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please get a big thumbs up if you did um, and yeah, subscribe. We're almost at 500 subscribers, and maybe I'll do a really fun video for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.